and be back. Fresh cup of coffee. We should help soothe this uh, scratchy voice and a little cake that my mother-in-law left in the kitchen by mistake, not realising that I was partial to a little bit of a cake and a coffee in the morning. Sorry, Ingrid. <laughs> okay, web service testing tools. Let's go and download Soap UI. You're, of course, free to use whatever web service testing tool you like. You'll notice a link to soapui.org downloads. And here we can download the best API testing tool for your needs, apparently. <laughs> um, Ready API. I haven't used this one, actually. It's obviously a newer one. I know they've got a paid version and an open source one, I think. Uh, I'm going to go with SoapUI open source because, because open source. So here it comes down to us. We're going to download, install it, and open it. Cue the few moments later graphic. Okay, so you've downloaded and installed Soap UI, and I've just clicked on it to open it. Here is Soap UI, and what it says is, give me an endpoint to go and test. And this is where we're going to type in that exact connection information that we just tried in our web browser. So pick up the address, the port, the slash web services slash super simp, and paste it direct into your testing tool. This will let you save this test and give it a name. That's why you can see just behind my example, I've got two other ones here because I already use SOAP UI to test some things. You won't see that, but don't worry about it. Type in your system name port and that, and let's click a send. And what happens? We get a big pink warning. Whoop, whoop. That's because it's saying, I don't quite know how to talk to that. So we've got to tell it, well, of course, we want you to talk with HTTP. Ooh, what happened? Unsupported media type? Hmm. Hmm, unsupported media type. Well, this is a good news, bad news situation. The bad news is obviously it didn't work. The good news is, hey, guess what sent this information back to us? That's right. It was our web server responded back to us saying there's something about this request you sent me that i didn't like what might that be it's because i stupidly changed the default value of the super simp web service to say i would only accept json incoming rather than any let's go and change it back to any while i'm waiting for that to stop i'm gonna eat the rest of my mother-in-law's raisin cake thing it's quite nice oh no Okay, it stopped. All you're going to do is uninstall. Uninstall means take it away, delete it. Be patient while it uninstalls. And once it vanishes off your list, we're going to go through that entire deploy process all over again. But we're going to make some slight changes on one of the screens. You see it's gone. Let's go. Deploy. leave the input as all. Okay. Once this is finished installing, we'll do a refresh. Hopefully we'll see a little green light on SuperSimp. Okay. Our new 1.2 version of the web service is up and running. Let's see what happens in our testing tool. Go back to SOAP. We haven't got to change anything. We're just going to run it again. We haven't changed anything on the web service. We've just said... You can send anything you like. We don't care. Let's click send. <gasps> what do we get back? Look, we've got a different response. This time, we've got the 200 OK HTTP response. Remember we spoke about that? Here's all the details of what the web service sends back to us as normal. And here is some JSON. This is what our RPG program has just returned back. That's pretty cool, right? If we had added authentication, this is where we could add it. This is cool. So let's save this request in SOAP UI. Just want to show you something else. I'm going to call this 
Uh, super simple. All right. It's created a thing called Project 2. We could call that super simple testing. Within there, you've got this little tree of hierarchy. You can play with this. You'll figure it out. It's pretty simple uh, of what's going right down to our final test request. This is the actual test request window within SOAP UI. And what you're seeing here is a much nicer way of looking at our testing tool. The green button here will call our testing um, web service again. It says at this endpoint, here's the web service name. So guess what? If we did a different version of SuperSync with a different name, that's all we'd have to change. Let's press run. And what you'll notice is the return value now we're formatting. We can see it in raw, that's what we just saw. But if we click JSON, SOAP UI is formatting that return JSON. Nicer for us to see, it just makes testing this thing really easy. So there we have it. In a nutshell, we can see that our program, SuperSimp, is being called. It's layering into life. It's ignoring the fact that we're not sending any parameters in. It's loading return success with one. And it's loading return message with web service super simp completed normally. Da -da -da. What? You don't believe me, I hear you say? Okay, let's change it. One of the nice sides to web services is you can change them on the fly. So let's change that to um, web service super simp is wicked nonsense message but who cares so we'll come out update it we'll recompile the program there's the program recompiled let's go back to our testing tool and let's retest it look return message super simp is wicked because it's calling our new version of the code that's it your first ever super simple web service is up and running perfectly Luckily for you, I made a fat finger mistake defining the web service, so we got to test it a little bit in SOAP UI. So uh, let's go on to the next section. I might do this as a new chapter on the lesson. I don't know. Um, how about we go in now and we do a not-so-simple web service where we'll add an input parameter, do some logic, and we'll return something back. Then after that, we'll do a full business one. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed playing with web services on this bright, brisk Sunday morning with me. Um, leave some comments. Uh, if you found problems or you've got questions, click that ticket button at the top if you're a subscriber, and I promise to get back to you. Or if you'd like to see something else added to the series, let me know. I love recording this stuff. As you can tell, it's fun and stupid, and it makes my, it's my Sunday morning church. So, uh, hope you had fun. Go make yourself a nice cup of coffee and have a pastry or a cake to say thank you. <laughs> have a good weekend and I'll see you on the flip side. All right, bye.